हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू द विंटर मैजिक हॉप सो अगेन दिस यूट्यूब हॉप हैज बीन होस्टेड बाई नूने का एंड थैंक यू सो मच नूनू फॉर इन्वाइटिंग अस एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ दिस ईयर फॉर समथिंग सो स्पेक्टैक्यूलर वी फील सो हैप्पी टू बी एंडिंग दिस ईयर विद आर फोर्थ यूट्यूब हॉप एंड दिस फैमिली ऑफ आर्टिस्ट हैज रियली ग्रोन वेर नाउ ट्वेंटी वन आर्टिस्ट फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड and it's so much fun to create a winter theme project specially for this hop so the rules remain same like our videos comment on them subscribe to all the artists youtube channels and enter to win some fabulous prizes and this time you can see we have many 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 fabulous sponsors with amazing prizes so follow the simple rules and enter to win all the details are also in the description box below so without any delay let's hop on to our tutorial for this we've decided to alter uh this prima marketing vintage frame and we've decided to create a nice winter scene so the first thing is that we going to be using this paper issues winter rhymes paper pack that we have uh, it's a 6 by 6 paper pack and we're just using this for some die cuts as well as to cut out some elements for our layering so what we've done is we've opened up the frame and adhered one of the 6 by 6 sheets onto the back for a nice background so we just used some mod podge and glued it down So now our next step is to give our frame a coat of gesso. So here we're not giving a nice thick coat, but going to be using just some sponge and giving a coat of gesso to prime it because we definitely want to add more textures, more colors and all of that. So the first most important thing is to prime it with gesso. Now that's a look with all the textures dry a nice snowy effect on the frame Now it's just time to add some color and for this we'll be using Lindy's magical shakers as well as a few magicals all the supplies are going to be listed in the description box so you'll have the colors and shades there So I'm just going to sprinkle a bit of these onto my palette and uh activate them with water because for this I'm just going to use a paint brush and randomly add some color. Mm -hmm. done that's a look at all the beautiful colors on our frame so here we're actually looking for a nice winter woods 
scene and that's why we chose sort of a nice color palette that will also match with our elements that we plan to use from the paper pack we showed you earlier so that's a nice look so now just it's dry but let it completely dry and let all the colors settle in before moving ahead with all the colors beautifully dry let's move on to our next step now so although the colors look really nice and beautiful like we said we're trying to achieve a nice wintry look so for the next step what we're going to do is use some snow white art alchemy in pesto paint but with a dry brush technique so for this use any paint brush that's gone bad uh, with the bristles all stretched out because this really works very well for a nice dry brush technique and without any water just take some white paint and go about all the colors to give it that nice look you can also use uh, gesso if you don't have impasto paint at this stage so very gently you can see how it's delicate and not in the face the colors also remain yet it adds another layer of nice texture so just going to continue doing this all over so with that we have a nice highlight which is very subtle yet visible so now i'm just going to quickly dry this and then we'll use some waxes to highlight all this beautiful texture now we'll just use some metallic wax the white gold color and highlight all the beautiful texture so you can either use your finger or again the same uh, dry brush technique for this as well So that's a look at it. What we've now done is just put back the base and shut it to now just create our scene. But that's a look at all the beautiful, beautiful color and texture. So now it's all about building the scene, and we're quickly going to show you what we're using. So we fussy cut some of these elements from the paper pack, as well as die cut some leaves for layering. and then because we're creating a wood scene we have some pot puree and we'll be using these natural elements sticking them to create our scene and then we have this cute little bird with a bird nest and just some random elements to build our layers so we'll also be using some flowers and pollens as we go along so it's all about just digging through and sticking all the elements to create that scene that's a look at the complete frame with all the elements layered we didn't realize our uh, camera stopped recording while we were gluing down these elements but it was as we built inside just gluing down uh, most of the pot puree elements the dried leaves the wooden pieces to sort of bring about layers over here we use some of these elements just to sort of bring about height to add that nest so that that looks a little higher and is not lost in the composition 
So it was just these elements, these berries are from the potpourri set as well. And we use these red pollens for winter berries, but we dulled the red color that was too bright for us. So what we did was we mixed some impasto paint with cuckoo clock cardinal and bratwurst brown to sort of create this dull red and then added some white gold wax to highlight it. And those then become the winter berries. So it's all just these layer, these elements and nothing extra that have helped us to build this entire wooden scene. So we really hope that we've been able to inspire you with a project to create a nice winter project for yourself as well. And we'll see you soon with fun more projects, more inspiration as always. Have a wonderful Christmas and a very happy winter season to you all. Mm -hmm.